Hey guys, what's up? Okay, um, I don't know how I'm gonna start this video off. I, I don't even wanna talk about it because it's just exhausting. Um, like, I've been through, like, I don't wanna say I've been through a lot, but like, I've been through a lot over this, since last week, literally. Um, I don't have any makeup on, well, I do. I have, like, um, my, the CC Glow, CC Nude Glow by IT. Um, so let me show you. I'm just gonna do this show you the new vibe so this is kind of like what I was doing before and just bringing it out that's kind of like what I was doing okay and then I was filling in I really don't feel well like a little bit here I'm also like breaking out a little bit which is very abnormal for me like I don't ever break out really because when I have a fucking tarantula eating my face um, okay, so this is what I've been doing that's different. Um, okay, I have been, so yesterday, it's not, I've been, my first day of doing this today. So I want like thicker brows. Um, it's the new Laura, Laura Mercier in Jean, G-E-A-N-N-E. -N -N -E. It's like this new stick. Okay, and this is something that I just have been doing this with, like, like sloppy and like that. It's just like so cute where you kind of just like smudge it. Like it's like a watercolor. Okay, do you see what I mean? Like it's just kind of messy. Like, okay. Like I can't explain it. It's just one of those things that it just becomes like this I don't know how much of this I'm gonna have like put in or not, but like, um, it's just like was way too long. Like the, I was like literally I'm sitting here and massaging, fucking not massaging, but you know what I mean? Like drawing these eyebrows because it's my only second day trying to like achieve this new vibe for 20 minutes. You know what I mean? So like, I don't know. And also I don't want a Betty Boop mouth. So like, this is very Betty Boop. Like, no, that's not the vibe. Stop. You know what I mean? Like, no. So no, like that was not cute. Like it's cute sometimes, but like no, like I really, put, I really put way too much on that. I was like very Betty Boop. Stop pissing me off. So no, like that's not cute. Like I need to stop right now. Like I really killed everything. It's not like ew. Like why do you have like, big juicy lips? Like no, you killed. Like why did I do that? Like it's not cute. It was cute like in theory. Like I don't know. When did I do that? It was cute. Like it was cute, but like all of a sudden it was not cute. Okay, I think this is better. Like. Like what happened all of a sudden? Like, why did I do that? You know what I mean? Like what happened? Like, whoa. Um, like, why did I do that? Okay, here's the other one. This is like, not red. Oh shit. Yeah. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure like what I'm doing right now. Um, but this is kind of like the vibe what I'm doing. Like, this is like, this is like me being very sick. Like I'm actually very ill right now. And like, this is my look. Like I'm not putting on, like I just need eyebrows because I feel like you can't fuck with me with my eyebrows. Like, I don't know what it is. Like I have like these cute lips on that I can like yell at you. And like, I, if I have the eyebrows on, then like, I know I look cute, but I don't need like any mascara because my eyes are pretty enough as is. Oh, that's cute. That's really cute. Thank you. Thank you for, oh my God. Like I told you, I'm not well, like I'm not well. Oh my God. I just was trying to get some of the gloss off. Oh my God, I'm not well. I took everything off. Like, why did everything come off? Wait, why did everything come off? Oh, my God, I'm so sick of this. Like, I literally, like, a swipe and everything came off. Like, like, how am I supposed to take any of these brands seriously when I can't even touch my face and the makeup comes off? Oh, I'm so sick of this shit. Look at that. Look at the fly. Seriously, I'm so sick of this. I feel like I live in a fucking, in like, um, a swamp. It's like swampy out. Okay. But 
that's like not fun enough. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing, you guys. Oh my God. Okay, I literally just came downstairs and there was a delivery at the door. I'm not even joking, look. Okay, it's from Tom again. Like, okay, this guy, I swear to God, he has the best fucking timing. I look like Medusa. Like why? Like, I don't look cute. With, is it the lip? Is, what is it? Is it, the, is it the brows? Like, I was looking very cute yesterday, like, on my deathbed. It's too much. Like, is it the brows and, like, the like the lips are too much? I don't know. We'll figure it out. Has, maybe it's to settle down. Like. Anyway, bitch, look at this. Huge gift. Oh, my God. <laughs> Let's unwrap it. Look how, like, teeth look, like, so good in these, in these like, lips, too. Like, um... Is it like my hair, my hair is gross, right? Is that what it is? Like my hair is just like not on. Hold on. Maybe it's like the side part's gross there. Hold on. You guys, like I'm literally dying, okay? Like you need to like, like honestly, I'm trying to like not die right now, so. <sighs> I don't know what my problem is. I don't know, okay. Let's read the card. Oh my God. I don't know what this is for, honestly. I don't know what this is for. He's so sweet. Like, I'm not gonna read it, but. So cute, seriously. I wanna just flash you guys and show you his um, writing though because it's ridiculous. His writing is like a typewriter. Like, I, I, I can't, I don't get it. Like, I seriously, I'm not, is this a typewriter? Like, I don't get it. It's so perfect. <sighs> yeah. Makes you miss OC, makes every, I don't know. Like I can't, I can't explain it. I'm not gonna read, I'm not. OC is not all it's cracked up to be. Okay, Tom, don't worry. Don't, don't feel that bad. <laughs> okay, um, all right. So we both have like a, a love for Snoopy. Like this like love that we didn't know. Like I love Snoopy and he loves Snoopy so much. Oh my God. Oh my God, thank you. I actually really wanted this. I actually really, 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 really wanted this. Okay, I really wanted this, but I was too cheap to buy it. I swear to God, like I was, okay, it's from Pottery Barn. That's so funny. I wanted this, but I was too fucking cheap to buy it. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh my God, it's so cute. There's like certain Snoopies. I'm ugly, I'm sorry. I'm really ugly right now. I'm like that's bad stuff. Um, I look, I don't I need to stop. Like I need to just like, I can't, the thing is like when you're opening gifts, like you don't have to look at yourself. I'm like, I'm forced to look at my ugly ass face right now. Okay, um, when there's, there's certain Snoopies that are cute and there's certain Snoopies that are not cute. You know what I mean? This is the cute Snoopy. You know what I mean? And this is like the cute Woodstock. I'm dead. And then he's like, he says like, I, I love your like new outdoor area, your little patio set. And this is gonna be perfect out there. Oh my God, I love it so much. But that's so funny because I wanted it, but I was like just being such a cheap bitch and like not wanting to buy it. Um, there's something else too. Okay. Um, he's like, everything's always so perfect. I call him, um, what's it called? Prince Charming, you guys know that. Because <laughs> he looks like Prince Charming. <laughs> okay. Oh my God, another net, oh my God. Thank you so much. This is like the best timing considering I'm dying. <sighs> I gotta tell you guys so much stuff. Oh my God, so cute! Oh my God, I love it. Oh my God, I love it so much. Oh my God, thank you so much. I love it. And why is everyone calling me right now? Stop. Okay, so before everyone was interrupting me, thank you so much. I'm gonna put this outside. I have so much stuff to tell you guys. I know this is like too nice to put outside, but I think I will put it outside because it's like enclosed-ish, you know? Um, so it's not gonna get ruined. Like there's no water or anything over there. And I think, just think it will like make me happy. Um, okay, so anyway, um, 
I have to, I have things to show you. I want to like show you guys all this. I want to like confess to you guys all of this like Halloweeny stuff that I bought, and I kind of want to show you guys because it like makes me really happy. I also want to show you guys these sunglasses I got. I want to tell you guys some shit. I want to tell you guys about um my my how almost died. I'm gonna like to talk to you guys about it. Like I really am not looking for anyone's like advice, honestly, like doctors and stuff like that because you piss me off. Okay, like the doctors piss me off. Even though I'm very grateful for the doctors, I'm gonna go through it. Like I really am. Like I'm very grateful. It's just like honestly, I don't understand. Okay, so anyway, um, anyway, let me tell you guys this one thing. I bought these um, sunglasses. You guys know I love to like find weird shit, like vintage shit. I'm wearing all silver. This is my XL Roxbury. I love them. They're so fucking cool. They come in gold and silver. Um, and this is my um, tennis necklace, my dream tennis necklace. It's solid sterling silver. It like looks and feels like real platinum and diamonds. I love it so much. You guys never have to take it off. It's like a forever piece. This is my new Divine Lariat, which I love. Um, maybe it's because I'm wearing silver. Like, I just look different because I'm always wearing gold. And then I'm wearing, like, these. So cool. And this side I'm wearing on my cross. So a little bit different. But um, I just love the vibe. It's really cool. Okay. Um. Anyway, so I bought these sunglasses. You guys know. Let me show you. So... Um, I think I showed you on Insta because I was really bored even though I was waiting to show you on, on my, so I bought these glasses and they came totally sealed in this pouch. Like I cut the op bag open and it's very like 1970s, probably, I don't know, 80s, 70s, I'm not sure, from the brand Courage. I'm not going to pronounce it, okay? I can't pronounce it. Sh shut up. Like, honestly, I don't know how to pronounce it. Like, Courage. I don't even know. It's probably better like Courage Courageous. Like, courageous bitch okay <laughs> like it's like it's like a fucking what's it called it's like those those jeans that i had like the the muggler jeans like you guys were like trying me on the muggler jeans like i'm sorry i'm not gonna say muglay that's the ugliest word i've ever heard in my life like that's ugly i'm not gonna say it like that it's ugly okay like i am right now i'm very ugly okay now so i'm very self-aware but i'm also on my deathbed so it's fine all right anyway um, I bought these because I wanted the case, to be honest. I really wanted the case. I was going to take a gamble on these. I was like, oh, these look very Elvira Hancock Scarface. I love them. They're cool, but I don't think I'll ever wear them because I, it's like that you, you literally look, you look thrift store, like you're giving thrift store like this. You're like, I hate people that give thrift store. It really like, it, it's like, you know, there's, there's, you have to draw a line somewhere. Like for me, I don't wear, I can't wear like vintage -y clothes. Like it's just not, you get, like, it looks like you literally got dressed at a thrift store, which is fine. Some people can pull it off, but it's not for me personally. And don't get offended if you like to, like to wear things from the thrift store because it just doesn't look good on me. Like I try and I just, I don't want to like, it looks really crusty. Do these look crusty, right? Like, I mean, they're cute. Maybe I'm not sure they're really cute, but like, I literally like I went to my grandma's house and she gave them to me. They're brand new. I never wore them. Like, obviously. They've never been worn, I mean. But I bought them just for this. Because I really wanted these to go in this. Okay, so I got these. These are also brand new, vintage, never used by Courageous. Okay? By Courageous. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce it. Cor cor whatever. I don't know, bitch. Okay. So these are weird as fuck. And I don't care. Like, okay. These make me look... Okay, I'm not, I'm not kidding. If I swear to God, I'm really ugly right now. Like, there's a difference when I'm pretty and there's a... Okay, are you guys like that? Where some days you're, like, pretty and some days you're ugly. I'm very ugly today, okay? Like, I am. I, I get it. I'm... I don't... Is it the mouth? Like, what is it now? Is it, is it, the, is it the eyebrows? I don't know. The eyebrows were really cute yesterday. Okay. Um, I think it's this. Like... Oh, okay, hold on. Okay. I think I need... I hate when people's armpits show. It's so gross. Okay. I think I need to like have my hair up to wear these or something. Okay. I don't know what it is, um, but I got these and I think they're really fucking cool. And these are those sun kind of sunglasses. I'm not kidding you. They're ugly, but they're really like sick. Okay. And like, you have to have your hair up. You have to be like, okay, I'm talking about myself because I don't care about you fat asses out there who get mad at me. You have to like be skinny that day. Like these are like a really skinny sunglass and like you're just like, have like your hair up and you're just like, like they're cool, they're like different. And they sit weird, like they sit really high. And you can't like move a lot too. Like, okay, 
When you're wearing these kind of sunglasses, you can't like laugh. Okay, you should never laugh though. You're, like you're ugly if you laugh, like don't laugh. You know what I mean? Like you should be like very self self aware when you're wearing these kind of sunglasses. Like you should be like very, um, you know what I mean? Like like uh, like even keeled, like level headed, like even keeled, like not like all crazy. You should be like very like Russian model vibe with these. Okay, like that's what you have to be because you can't move your face a lot with these, or else you're ugly. And they also have to like sit like right there like higher than normal like weird okay i'm telling you the truth they're really cool if they're done right i love them i'm gonna wear them like i'm actually gonna wear these like i'm going to i probably will never wear them out but i'll wear them <laughs> like i don't know where the fuck i'm gonna wear these because i don't know about the balls to wear them but like i fucking love them they're really a b like they're really green right now but you see what i mean like they're very like model I really bought the case okay that's what i did um and i really like this i just think it's really cool like, I don't know what I'm doing with this. It's just so, like, mall, like, 1970s mall, right? Like, so cool, so unique. Okay. Um, so, that's that. And, um, okay, so now I'm going to go, and I want to, like, tell you guys my story. I'm just going to tell you guys my story, I think, here. Um, I also want to show you guys my um, Halloween stuff that I got, like, a lot of Halloween shit that I got. Like, kind of, like, to show you guys stuff. Maybe I'll show you guys my um, outdoor area. I don't know. It's kind of like I had more plants put in yesterday. Um, all right. So here we're going to go over the whole story because I know you guys are like dying to hear. You guys are like waiting for me to die, I'm sure. But like I didn't. So ha. Okay. So this is the thing. Um, let me tell you guys the story. I know I've said it a million times. I'm not well. Okay. So um, Wednesday, I went for not lip. I got my lip blushed three year, three weeks ago. Okay, like three weeks ago. You guys know. All right. I have not had my lips blushed since. Okay. And when I had my lips blushed, I took Valtrex because I get cold sores. So just for preventative reasons, you take a you take Valtrex because they're going to be working on your lips, right? Okay. Um. Anyway, so I took Valtrex three weeks ago. Nothing happened. I was fine. You guys knew. Like when I did my lips. Three weeks ago, nothing happened. I filmed, I've been fine for three, whatever, three weeks. I know a lot of you guys are gonna be like, oh, it can be like a delayed reaction, this and that. I don't, no one fucking knows, but like nothing ever happened. Like you guys know I get injections, like I do things, like it's not like, you know, I've done like Morpheus, all that kind of stuff, like nothing, nothing happens. Like I'm always fine. I think that eyebrows are prettier when they're like that. See, the problem is like I'm ugly when they go up, like ew, they need to stay straight and like not move for like the vibe, but like, I, I'm, like, I'm just not pretty today, I'm sorry. I need to stop. Okay, so um, Wednesday I went um, and I got I got um, Versa put here. Okay, in my lips, but mainly she concentrated a lot right here, like poke, poke, poke. Like when I've gotten my lips done before, it was just like some pokes here, some pokes there, some pokes. Right? This girl like really poked a lot everywhere. Not that it's a bad thing. She did an amazing job. I love it. And like. I, I got the, the I got the results I wanted. Like her technique um, worked. Okay, so I left from there. I took a Valtrex. Yes, before I got there, and I left. And then um, Judy and I went and had this Szechuan chicken. Okay, and we've had it before, but what we've noticed, and I've been now I've had time to like think back. Right, what we noticed is like we ordered like three or four times over like the course of years, right? And when we order it, we've noticed recently that there's been less chicken and a lot more chilies. I mean, there are a lot of chilies in it, like just naturally, that's how the recipe is. But they like really skimp out on the chicken put a lot more chilies and we eat the chilies, like we really do. These chilies are so hot that like, I'm like <laughs> eating it, but I really like the rest. I really like the heat, it they taste really good. I also like to eat them because I'd rather eat them than like the chicken because it's less calories, right? So I'm like eating like the dried chilies instead. Anyway, I'm just telling you guys the course of events. So that's that. Then I drive home, whatever, and I start to feel that was like, I, I think I ate the chicken at like four o'clock, three or four, three, three o'clock maybe. Then I got, I go home and I start to feel a little bit itch overnight, I think like, but like nothing major. I wake up in the morning and I'm like covered in weird like striation looking hives all over like my all over my um feet and my arms and my look at this is the, from the iv um and from my and on my stomach there was nothing on my face okay there was nothing anywhere around there i i like take pictures i'm like what the fuck oh my god and then i um Go downstairs, just like walk around a little bit, try to decide what I'm gonna do. 
and I start noticing some of it's coming up onto my neck, okay? So it's starting to like work its way up. It stops here. Nothing happens on my face still, okay? And um, anyway, I end up going to the urgent care because I didn't know what it was. It was itching. I wanted to film that day. Um, and I was like, I'm not gonna just sit here and take Benadryl. Oh yeah, I sent, so Jason went out to go get me Benadryl, but they only had like not, they only had drop, like regular Benadryl and I wanted non-drowsy Benadryl. I thought there was such thing, I don't know, okay? So I was like, fuck it, I'm just gonna go to the urgent care and like have them prescribe me something. So I went there and she looked at me and she prescribed me prednisone and um, pills, okay? And then she told me to get Paxid and Benadryl as well. She also gave me an injection in my butt of prednisone. But what I didn't realize is when I got home, I was supposed to take the Benadryl and the Paxid as well because it all works in conjunction together. I didn't know, I missed that part because when I got home, I was feeling, from the injection, I was feeling fine. Like I was feeling fine, you guys saw, I like filmed, I was fine, right? Okay, fast forward to after filming that day last week when you guys saw me. Um, I, it was, I, it's kind of a daze now, but basically that night, um, that was the night I went. Yes, that was the night I went, Friday night. Oh, Friday night, no, I didn't go to the ER that night. I just kept the, okay, I forget what it was. Fr I think it was Friday night I, I went to the ER. I'm pretty sure it was Friday night because it just got progressively worse. Like it wouldn't go away. It was, it was agony. And what happened was the, I, I guys, I just, I just don't remember, but what I, I'm like, this is, I have it all written down like in my phone about the times and stuff. I know this is like a boring story. I don't know if you even, if you, if you even, if you even care, but basically what I wanted to say is that like for the for for Thursday night, the night I filmed, Friday night when I was in the ER. Saturday night, I think I went to the ER again. All of those nights, I was up from four from two four two o'clock to like five o'clock in agony, like in absolute agony, where the prednisone took like three hours to kick in and I was only allowed to take it twice a day, but I wanted more. I needed more because it was like that painful. Um, it was so painful that I like literally went on walks around the, the neighborhood for like hours at night, like from like two to five, because I like needed to like get my, I, I, moving around was more comfortable than just laying. Nothing worked, like the itch creams didn't work, oatmeal baths didn't work, like nothing worked. And I, I like, I just wanna come on here and like, I don't know what it was and I know you guys are gonna th think it's the injection because you're just anti-injections and you're anti like Botox and things like that, which is fine, that's you, but I really don't think it's that. Like the truth is though, like I do have my next lip blushing session the last one i only get two i get one and then the touch up in like two weeks and i don't like i'm scared like i really i'm scared even though i know it's not that because the lip blushing was three weeks ago like i don't know if i'm going to go back only because i don't know if that is what triggered something i don't know it's it's not but like i'm scared like i really am scared like i'm so scared to eat things that i ever ate that day like i'm i was using like this nut pod stuff in my coffee recently i don't want to use that anymore i'm like afraid like I, anything I ate that day, I like, I don't ever want to touch again. I'm like really scared. I don't, <sighs> anyway, also what I was gonna say is this entire time, and I just think it's really like, I don't know why I'm saying this. I'm not trying to like toot my horn or anything or like be preachy, but like this entire time, when I was dying in misery, I was thanking God. Like I was thanking God for it only being that bad. Like being like, listen, I could be a thousand times worse. I could have this every day of my life, have some like really, really terrible disease where you're like, you are sick every single day. What's it called? Chronic illness, which I know so a lot of people out there suffer with like chronic illness. I follow a lot of people on Instagram who I'm really close, who I like, or I'm close to, or I'm friends with who are chronically ill with whatever, with different kinds of maladies, right? And it's like, it is this, it is, the worst thing in the world to not have control over your health. Like I, so when I'm sitting there, I don't cry. You guys know that I was in tears crying from pain, but at the same time I was thanking God for, for like 
knowing that there, it, that this is really, really bad. But like, I also was, I don't know why. Is, is, do sick people act like that? Do sick people like thank God no matter what? That's what I do. Maybe I'm just so afraid of God or like I'm so, I love God so much that like I am like, I don't know what it is. Like I just was like thankful. <laughs> Isn't that weird? I also thought about there's like this one disease that I, 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 I don't know why. Like things on Instagram pop up, like really horrible things pop up on Instagram for me. I hate it. There's like this, these, this disease that these like children are born with. And oh my God, it's like that's where their skin peels off, right? They have like no fingers. They have, they have open, their, 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 their skin is open wounds, right? They are, they're like mummy. They have to like, their parents have to wrap them in like gauze because they, their skin, they don't have skin. So it, it gets infected. They're, they are, and their kids, they, they sit there and they like, they're crying. They're in tears, but they're also happy. They have happy moments in their life. They are thankful. They are, I can't, like, I'm going to cry. Like, honestly, I can't. Like, I saw that and I'm like, wow, you're crying because you have a rash. You have a rash that won't go away right now. And you have the nerve to fucking cry and be, and like, and think like, oh my God, like, what the hell, what the hell? Like, oh my God, help me. Like, no, like there are other people in the world who are going through way worse than you are. You ungrateful, selfish bitch, like stop it right now. And yeah, that you, you should thank God. Like you should honestly thank God. And that's like how I am with everything. Like if I have like a hardship in my life, I don't really think like, why me? I don't, I know like you, I'm very lucky. I understand that. Like, I'm not saying that. I know this is a bad, probably come going to come off bad, but like, I, I don't know. I can't explain it. I really can't explain it, but that's what I was thinking to myself. I was like, <sighs> that's good. Like I'm, th I'm happy that I'm, I have that mindset where like, I'm actually grateful and thankful rather than like, Oh my God, help me. Oh my God. Oh my God. Like God, why me? Oh my God. Like no. So I don't know. I just am kind of like, want to share that with you because sometimes like when you watch people and they tell you things about, and it puts you into perspective or whatever. And I wanted to tell you guys that because that's honestly how I am. And I like that part about myself because it's like real and I, you can't fake that, right? Like, I don't know. But, okay, so it, it's been really, really horrible. Anyway, getting off the, the, the part that's the worst too about this whole thing is the prednisone part. So the ER doctor gave me prednisone. Scott, he gave me an IV when I went in a prednisone and other things. And then he also prescribed me whatever milligrams of prednisone. And he told me just to stop taking them when you're, you don't need it anymore. So I was like, okay, you know, whatever. Then when I had gone back into the urgent care a couple days later, um, again, after the second time at the ER, okay, second time at the ER, I'd gone in and then I left because the prednisone kicked in, even though, cause it was like one o'clock in the morning. And I was like, Hey, wait, I'm, I was starting to figure out like the schedule of this prednisone and how it started working. It's just been so bad, you guys. Okay. Anyway. So the next day I felt the tingle coming on in the morning and I was like, no, I'm going to the, to the urgent care so they can give me that shot. Anyway, she wouldn't give me the shot, but she told me, she's like, you're, I think you're coming off of it. You can't just keep popping the prednisone. It's really bad for you. Um, she's like, you actually need to taper yourself off of it. And I was like, the ER doctor never told me that. He told me just to stop taking it whenever you wanted to, whenever you didn't need it anymore. She's like, oh, absolutely not. Okay, so she told me that, and then I went to the pharmacy, and she still only prescribed me 20 milligrams of prednisone. She never even gave me the tapering kit or whatever it was. So it's like, as much as I am thankful, so thankful to like medicine and doctors and everything, honestly, it's like, I really have lost like a lot of respect for a lot of them because what do they just like prescribe shit? Is that all you do? So you just are, you're just like able to prescribe stuff. So, so like, is that what it is? I mean, I understand surgeons are different and things like that. I'm not just, I don't want to diss the medical field because I obviously have so much respect for them. Like we'd all be dead, right? <laughs> if it wasn't for them helping us. So that's not it. But it's like, really bitch? Like how come I got so much misinformation? Like I'm still coming off of it. It's been really hard. Like I haven't had prednisone in three days and I still can barely function. Like I can't walk a lot. I feel like I, I'm going to like go to the floor and like pass out. Like I, I don't know what it is. It's something weird. Like I told you, I don't, I'm not shaky. But inside, I can't breathe. Like, I don't know what it is. It's so weird. So 
that's what my story is. I don't know what it is. I know a lot of you guys are like, oh, you should take allergy tests. And to be honest, I really, I know a lot of you guys are already gonna like me putting up, you know, your stories on here and like what your personal experiences and stuff. But like, I really pray to God that this is just a one-off. I think it was the perfect storm. I think I've been really just stressed out. There's a lot of things going on in my life right now. I don't share everything with you guys. Um, I think that coupled with, I'm like, I'm a basket case, right? Like I am very high strung. I am very like, I have obviously, I'm very anxious. Like I'm very high, like very wired, right? Like maybe it was that, maybe it was me being like stress, stress induced. I really think that stress causes a lot. Stress causes cancer, stress causes like everything. Like I can stress myself out very easily. So I think it was stress induced mixed with the chilies. So after I got those injections, I shouldn't have eaten a bunch of fucking chilies, like tons of chilies where I'm burning my goddamn mouth for literally a half an hour dying. Okay, like how stupid am I to do that? When you go get lip injections done or anything, you don't put something like with fake dyes and like, you know, chilies and MSG into your fucking system. Like, I really think that was it. Like, I think that was it, but I'm not a thousand percent sure. I'm still a little bit nervous. But I just want to share you, share with you guys like what was going, going on. Like I really have never felt this kind of pain in my entire life. It's really gnarly. It was really fucking, it was really agonizing. Like it was agony. Okay. It was. And anyway, okay. So let me go and show you guys some things. Okay. So this video is for Tom because I love him. Um, and he got me this pillow and he, okay. So it doesn't look perfect right now because I just came out here. Okay. So this is so cute for fall. I'm literally gonna leave it here. It makes me so happy. And it actually matches my set so much. This is gross because it's like, it needs to be shifted. I told you it's not perfect. This was like, I wasn't even planning on showing you guys the area yet. Okay, let me just put this down. This is a stupid magazine. Okay, um, let me come back here and show you. Ming's just ran outside. Okay, um, so here is my area. And um, those are the plants that I have right now. I wanna put a, an orchid in there. And um, I love these little plants I got. These are, don't worry, there's a truck backing up now for no motherfucking reason. Okay, these are called China Dolls. I think they're the most adorable plants ever. I love them. Um, I got a bunch of pots. I'm not done, there's still more pots coming. This is a plumeria from my friend. He got it for me. I love it. I'm obsessed with plumerias and I just think that was so thoughtful of him. So you guys think I don't have friends and I do have friends, you stupid fucks, okay. Um, I got this from a, um, I got this from an estate sale and I got this from an estate sale and then I got that from an estate sale, which should be here. Um, gardeners came yesterday and planted a bunch more here. Um, just bananas, which I love all along the wall. Anyway, this is like my little sanctuary. I love it so much. I just think it's so comfortable <laughs> and it totally gives the vibe that I want. Um, it's, I love the little overhang, my patio's up there. Okay, so this is my little area and I love my pillow. Thank you so much, Tom, seriously. Okay, um, look how pretty. So kind of, and then I have that, my like little, oh, there's Ming. See a good Carol. Okay, I'm also having a party at my house. Can you guys believe it? I don't know. Okay, I will tell you guys in a second. I have so much to tell you, okay. I love this, this is new, also from CB2. And then my rug, outdoor rugs, I have two of them. Let's go in. Oh yeah, and then these are also from um, an estate sale. They're like the perfect um, Beverly Hills Hotel green. I love them, they're like Rolo pillows, but I love my Snoopy. Oh my God, it's so cute. <laughs> okay, so I'm ugly. Uh, we already know this, I've said it a million times. Okay, so, um, all right, so I wanna tell you guys some things that I got. You're gonna kill me. I don't care. Okay, um, so let me show you. All right, um, hi, this is a master, this is a fucking disaster. Um, I love Halloween, yes I do. Um, and I got these two things. I got some things, I'm gonna show you guys what I got, okay. So I don't know what I'm wearing right now. I'm just wearing, okay, stop. So. Okay, so let me show you guys what I got. I don't know what's wrong with me. I, I just love Halloween um, and I just, okay, I got these things and they're cute, okay? Like they're really cute. And I don't care what you say, okay? So I'm kind of like on one. I don't know what my problem is. I, I'm very basic, okay? I don't know, like, I don't know what I'm doing in this house anymore. 
like I just don't get it. Okay, so I got this and I love it. Why does my arm look so fat? Like I'm like, that's another thing too, you guys. Um, Over like when I've, I have not actually been like watching what I've been eating for the past since I've been sick. I've been like, just like letting myself not really do what I want. Like, but yesterday I had like a fish filet meal and like, I don't care. You know what I mean? Like I, I don't, I'm not the best right now because I've just been in so much pain that I can't like watch what I'm totally eating too. So I'm probably fat right now, but whatever. Okay. All right, so anyway, I got this, and um, I'm gonna slim down in a week, so shut up. Okay, um, anyway, this is so cute. Like, isn't it cute? Okay, and then um, I got this guy. I don't know why, like, I'm, I'm probably, it's like, it's stupid. Like, I don't know why, like, okay, but then I put them together, and they're kind of cute. I got these two, they're like Anna Lee dolls, and they were ugly before because they were carrying, like, ugly bags, and I cut the bags off, and now they're cute, they're a vibe, but like, I'm sure you guys bought them and left the bags on, like, that's what you would do, like, you just don't get it, like, remember my other, I need to bring out my other Halloween dolls, too, remember those other Halloween dolls I used to get when I was in Brentwood, remember how I used to, like, edit them, and, like, alter them a little bit to make them cooler, like, you guys just leave their dumb shit on them, like, why do you do that, like, see what I mean, you kill the vibe, don't buy anything, like, you just don't get it, okay, so I have nothing set up right now, honestly, like, I, this is disgusting, I have nothing set up, I don't know what to do, but there's those, and yeah, I have my boxes out. You guys know I like my boxes. Like, I don't care what you say. Fucking losers have the nerve to talk to me about decor. Okay. Um, yeah, so I think those are cute. I just like my boxes. I don't know, whatever. And they're kind of getting faded, which is not good. Maybe I should put them away. But I just think they're pretty. And that's my um, Tina doll, but I'm, he should go somewhere else. I just need him to like, I don't have anywhere to store things really. Like I don't have a cabinet. or any, well, I have cabinets down here, but I don't want to, cause that's like not Halloween. That's for all the time. Okay, so that's that. I think it's cute. I don't know. Okay, then I got um, these big spiders, and they're from Walmart, and they're pretty, like, um, pastel colors. And don't look at my mess. This is my work bag. Um, pastel colors. I put them on my mirror. I like them. <laughs> I got those. I know, so dumb. I don't know. I'm just buying shit. Okay, now here's the, ba here's the bad part. Okay, this. This is so bad. I know. I know what I'm doing. Okay. This I bought. I really like it. If you guys follow me on Insta, you would have heard what I said. This is um, like from Home Goods, obviously. It has like fairy lights in it. And I think it's really cool. It's like big. Um, and I feel like it's something very like European. Like it's very Italian looking. Like I know some people are like, what are you talking about Italian? Like just shut up. You don't get it. Like it's it actually does look like, you know, it's made in Italy. Anyway. So um, anyway, that I like it. These, I think I just returned. I got them from Hobby Lobby and I just thought they would be pretty outside. Okay, let's go try it. I, that's the thing. I thought I would put it outside, um, like on my little patio area and then one on my, cause I have like a couple different seating areas outside and they were only $25 because they were like, everything's half off. But I have that thing in the middle. Okay, let's go try. Let me go bring it with you guys and just try. And then I want to tell you guys I'm having I'm having a fucking party at my house. Like I don't know, I I just have to because like my husband's like a social person and like he really it's like his birthday is coming up and like it's everyone's birthday coming up. Everyone's like in October, so I was just like, oh you know I like my house right now. Like the patio is cute. Let's do a party. Let's have a party here. And so I kind of got myself in this mess. Ew, that, see it's ugly. You know, it's like oh my god, it looks like an anus. That looks like a butthole. No, that's disgusting. That is not it. Oh my god, Ming, are you still out here? Like, I could, like, put it over here, but then it's stupid. Like, because I got this. Oh, no, that looks gross. Okay. Um, this is also vintage from an estate sale. But this is dumb. Like, this is just dumb. Like, I could put two, right? Like, one here and then. But that just doesn't, doesn't go. Like, why? No. That's not. Like, it's just no. That's no. Also no. So, I think these should just go back. Like, I really tried to, like, be kind of, like, basic. You know what I mean? And then, you guys remember this? I don't want to show you everything. Do you remember this? I got that from like <laughs> like the side of the street. I love it. Okay, um, it's just a little sitting areas. Okay, so um, these are gonna get returned, I guess, because they just don't look good up there. It's like this is not a vibe of my house. Um, I just don't want you guys to see everything, so I'm trying to cover you. Okay. Um. Anyway, so I just want to tell you guys that yeah, I'm gonna have a party at my house. Um. And I like was gonna cancel it because I got really sick and everyone understood. But then because I'm like feeling better and I'm not gonna like cook, I'm just gonna like cater it or whatever. I'm just gonna end up doing it anyway. Um, and like, cause my husband's like really social and like likes people. And I've been like really trying to like not embrace that because I don't 
really I'm not a social person. Like I don't like small talk. I can't do it. Like it really bothers me. Like it actually gives me a lot of anxiety. Like I don't, it's really hard for me. I think it has to do with me being deaf in my, like one of my ears. So I can't hear a lot and I don't care what you have to say. Like I really don't care what anyone has to say. It's weird. Like it's really hard. That's why I have like my friends are, I'm like very particular about my friends because like I, it's like, I don't want to sit there and talk to you if I don't like care. You know what I mean? It's like, I don't know. It's weird. It, a lot of you guys are like that too. So don't even come for me. Um, anyway, so I'm having a party. It's cause like everyone's, everyone's birthday, like my mom's birthday, a friend of mine's birthday, my grandma's birthday, my husband's birthday, everyone's in October. So I figured we'll just have like, um, you know, I really wanted to do like a nicer party and like have like balloons and like like actually plan it out better um you know my husband has been on like a work trip now for four days actually he left on monday when i was getting better and yeah we talked about it and i don't want you guys to think he's bad for leaving now like i wanted him to go um i really want i really wanted like to just be sick alone for a while too like i just you know what i mean like i did not want anyone to be around so it was fine um so i haven't had anyone to like help me with the party anyway so Anyway, I was gonna cancel it and then I like, kind of first started feeling bad because I, you know, like invited people and I don't wanna like say, never mind, like, I was sick. Like, j bitch, just order some food and shut up. It's not a big deal. So I'm gonna order food from like one of our favorite places. Um, just like drinks. Eh, I don't even know. Um, I'm not gonna drink. I can't drink right now. Whatever. Long story. Another story. Um, my life is just on one and I don't know. I'm just thinking like, okay, so I was like, okay with doing this because I really like my house right now. Um, and I love my patio and like the sunsets are so pretty in the backyard. So it's like, okay, now that the patio is done and stuff, like let's invite people over. It's cool. Um, and like the house is looking good. Like look how good my, don't my like teeth even look better with these lips? Okay. But like, I don't know. So that's why I want to invite people over because like, I feel like it's like, there's places for them to sit. There's like more of a vibe. Like it's not uncomfortable. I don't know. Like it's, it's starting to come together. I really like my, I have like an, a table coming. You guys saw that table I ordered, right? Like I have a custom table coming in for my entryway that should be here in a couple weeks. I mean, I wish the table was here for the party, but okay. Um, anyway, I don't know. Like, do I put music on? Like, I don't know. Like, oh my God, I'm getting nervous. Like oh, I'm such a loser. Like I'm literally 38 and I like don't know how to put a party on. Like I don't. Like I've never hosted really anything because like we just go like i've had such a bad relationship in the past where like no one even went we like i never even had like a spouse come to my parents house really <laughs> um so or, so we never hosted because i always go to my parents house for things like okay whatever i don't know i'm just like venting now but um i've never hosted anything i have like a lot of anxiety like thinking like oh my god like everyone's gonna be bored like no one's gonna want to come like everyone's gonna want to leave like um I just hate that about myself. I hate that. It's like, I'm sure everyone has that fear though. Like, you know, you try to throw a party and like no one comes, right? So whatever, it's just family and like some friends and you'll be fine. But I'm just like really ill actually. Like I'm not feeling well. Um, so he's gonna come home, I think tonight or tomorrow morning, I forget which day. And then he'll help me, but I'm just like really kind of dead. But I have like nothing to wear. Like I really don't, it's hot. I don't know. Um, but that's it. I don't know. I could just hear and talk to you guys for a long time. Um, I, yeah. So I don't know. I think I'm going to go. The thing is like yesterday when I went to, I went to Hobby Lobby yesterday just to get out. Right. And I felt like really, I really started feeling like, oh no, what am I doing? I couldn't walk. I almost like, so I stood in an aisle and like held the cart because there was something wrong inside. Like I can't explain it. Like, I don't know. Pregnancy is nasty. I've, you guys always think that I do drugs. Like I've never, ever done drugs my whole life. Like I don't like anything that makes me feel different alcohol fine you know what I mean because I guess I know what that will do but like I hate I will never do drugs or anything like that because I don't like not being in control but alcohol I don't know is different I don't know whatever okay guys well I'm just babbling now but wish me luck on my party okay like oh my god I'm a big girl now I'm gonna have a party like so stupid but like I don't know like what do you do like what do you do at a party like okay bye you can leave now you know what I mean like I don't know this is weird. This is so weird for me. Like, I'm not doing this. Like, okay. All right. I love you guys. <laughs> Bye.